It's a hard fact of life. Children sometimes need to be removed from their homes, from their families. Long after their world has fallen apart, they're left to put together the pieces of their broken lives. Through no fault of their own, these children find themselves in the court system, waiting to find out where they'll go. Many are assigned to group homes. I was taken from my family when I was 12 years old. My parents, they were, they were into drugs and so were my older brothers. And so that is, uh, was the cause for me being removed. You know, you, you, you see movies and you see television shows where cops are busting in on a, on a house where drug use is you know, prevalent. And you know, my house was that house. Mine was known as the, the crack house. You know, I was locked out of my room more than four nights a week because of people shooting up, smoking, whatever, drug of their choice, and I slept on the couch. Um, I grew up in a drug addict home. My dad was addicted to drugs, along with my sister. I didn't really see her that much. My mom, she was what you call a pill popper. She was all, every time I'd come home from school, she'd normally be passed out on the couch with a cigarette hanging from her mouth. I got removed from them about six years ago and I was moved from place to place. Didn't really find anywhere stable. I think the longest I've stayed anywhere was maybe 10 months. And then one day, for about two hours, my mom and my stepdad were in the bathroom. And I wanted to know what they were doing in there, so I, I, I opened the door and I went in and they were melting, melting the drugs on the spoon in there. And I, I got really angry and confused a little bit. And all, around that, going through that whole process, my younger brothers and sisters were not themselves. They were depressed. The one that's right younger than me, she stopped eating. And uh, my mom just would disappear on weekends for three or four days at a time. Then one weekend she left and didn't come back. That's why the Georgia Sheriff's Association decided they must get involved to give these children a safe, secure, nurturing home Executive Director Terry Norris explains. Over 50 years ago, several Southwest Georgia sheriffs came together and talked of a need to provide a safe and secure home for children in their communities. Since the inception of the Georgia Sheriff's Youth Homes, thousands of Georgia's needy, neglected, and dependent children have been offered a safe and secure home environment. Our children are like any other children, any other family. They go to public schools, they play football, they're cheerleaders, they're regular kids. You went to school, but it had so many things to offer you, you know, to keep your mind off of the sadness and the pain. You know, with children, you have, if they're having fun, they're not thinking about anything else. You know, you had an outdoor basketball court, you had a gymnasium, you had a weight room, you had a baseball field, you had a swimming pool, you had tennis courts, and you know, you had children your age. Different backgrounds, I mean, the variety there and the diversity was just incredible. And I think is th that's what made it such a great place. You got to learn other people's backgrounds and you got to have fun and you really didn't have a worry. I love playing, having fun, but my main goal is drawing because I love drawing and I just sit out, go outside some days, look in the sky and look at different landscapes and just draw. And sometimes I just stay in my room and draw different things that come up to mind. Presently we have children in grade school all the way through college and adult technical school. On each campus we have a professional staff consisting of a resident director, counselors, tutors, and each cottage in which children live in have house parents that love and nurture them throughout each day. Upon graduation our children are given the opportunity to attend college or a technical school. These children have progressed through the years, they have attended local schools, and now it's time to give them the same opportunity that you and I would give our children. My name is Joshua Matthew Ridley. I'm 24 years old, uh, just graduated college from Georgia Southwestern State University, and I'm a teacher in Monroe County. They took interest in me and my life, 
And they said, you know what? He can make it. So we're going to take care of his college. We're going to see that he has the needs in his life to be able to be successful. And, um, and that just spoke volumes to me, knowing that they, they were able to do that. But it wasn't just as an investment. It was as a, a gift of love, you know? It was because they, they love me. They're still paying for my master's. I'm getting my master's right now in curriculum and instruction, and they're, they're footing the bill. You know, but my hard work and them knowing who I am and I'm good for it, and that I'm basically family, you know, they're okay doing that. With the ranch's help and guidance, I decided to go to college and worked on a bachelor's degree in management and marketing, so doing that. And um, growing up here, they try to help you find your path in life, I guess, and they try to help you know what you want to do and, and let you know that you're not alone and that you have family that loves you right here. You, don't, you know, it's okay that you don't have your, your biological mother or father that, that's here for you, but you have a surrogate family, so to speak, and um, they love you unconditionally. That unconditional love is what sets the Georgia Sheriff's Youth Homes apart from other group homes. These children are provided with loving, caring house parents who are committed to provide stable, nurturing home settings. My house parents, Ms. Serena and Mr. Allen, they've been there for me and I've been through so much in the past four years with everything that's been going on with my family and I've come to think of them as my mom and my dad. They truly are my parents. I mean, I love them with everything I have and love has never really been that much of a word to me. It's been something I used to not believe in love, period. But since I've came here, I've really actually seen the what that word really means. I mean, it's, I've found so much happiness since I've been here, but it's my home and I love it. About that same time, I came to the boys ranch at 15. That's been my home ever since. It's really the only home I've ever had. Um, I, I love the ranch and every time, every time I drive from, I'm in college now and every time I drive out here from college, you can see the fence about five minutes before you get to the ranch. And every time I see the fence and I see the field and everything, uh, my heart kind of fills with joy. I'm coming home, you know, it's nice. It's like I'm home, even though I'm not with my biological brothers and sisters or my biological parents, I'm here and just the house parents or, bro or different people that I'm here around, they make me feel like I'm home and it's just good. People ask me many times, uh, what's the success story? What's the most successful thing you've seen or child? I answer that one child at a time. It may be the young person who comes into my office with a report card and it's the first time they've ever passed all their subjects. It may be um, a young person that graduated from high school and we go to that child, boy, girls graduating, and they're the first person in their home or the first person in their family that's graduated from high school. It may be a, a young lady or young man that we go to a college graduation. Uh, it may be a young man that we go to listen to preach at a church he's preaching at. Uh, or a young man that's receiving a Purple Heart for his service in Iraq. Which ones are those successes? All of them. One child at a time. I don't think you can measure it any other way. The Georgia Sheriff's Association responded to an aching need. The sheriffs opened their arms and took in children no one wanted. Not guilty children, not delinquent children, just children at risk. There are currently five beautiful campuses throughout Georgia. Boys Ranch in Hayhira, Cherokee Estate in Dalton, Pineland Camp Pioneer in LaGrange, Harrington Homestead near Swainsboro in Nunez, and Mountain View in Chatsworth. These campuses provide these children with a warm, loving home in which to grow up and the tools to succeed in life and start a generational tradition of success as they nurture their families. We've recognized many successes of our children throughout the years. 
successes that otherwise these children would never have obtained. For instance, we've had children graduate from the Citadel, they've attended colleges and universities and graduated and gone on to be doctors and other professions. All of this is made possible through the leadership of our sheriffs and the generosity of many, many Georgians. The Georgia Sheriff's Association's youth homes are just that, homes. Homes with a warm, loving family that opens its arms to these hurting children. Homes that make them feel welcome, that nurtures them, teaches them, motivates them, and makes all things possible. For more information about the Georgia Sheriff's Youth Homes, contact your local sheriff or online go to www.georgiasheriffs.org or call 770-914-1076.